when people say, John, why do you like protons? Because I can comfortably fit in one. <laughs> Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with this, which is the barn find proton. Now, many people use the term barn find quite loosely nowadays. Well, if you haven't seen the previous video, you will know that this was found in a barn. Insert clip of barn here. Sub-lotters just took away lotters and barns. And we managed to pull it out of the barn quite easily, thanks to the team at JW Recovery in Boston. Um, I haven't had a look at this car. It has literally just been delivered to me and has literally just been dumped on the driveway. In this video then, let's take a look around it. It is a Proton 1.5 SE. It is a K-Reg. That's about all I know so far. Discover together then the joys of this 1.5 SE. I don't think it's going back on the road. Now, one of the first things I noticed when it was pulled out the barn is that it was sitting much lower at the back. That means one of two things. There's something really heavy in the boot or the engine's missing. I don't think the engine is missing. Uh, not that I've tried to start it up. And again, this is not false jeopardy. I genuinely don't know anything about this car other than it's just been pulled out of a barn. I have, however, the key. Well, that's a good sign. This is not a good sign. Clearly the exhaust is hanging off. What is in the boot? Oh, <laughs> okay. So actually I didn't expect there to be this in the boot, which looks like, well, a gearbox. Okay. It is an automatic and it is the 1.5 SE. Why is there a gearbox in the boot? Uh, right. There's a battery in the boot and an air box and some drive shafts and an engine mount and a starter motor. I really don't think it's got an engine in. <laughs> the keys are in the boot. So I'm genuinely hoping the reason that it sits low at the back is because it's got that gearbox in. But uh, now I've seen that, I have genuine concerns <laughs> that it hasn't got an engine in it which is a big problem. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I'm getting in, I'm getting in there. <laughs> so it's a good job I didn't say, let's hook the jump pack up to it and try and jump it off, boys. <laughs> because, well, the engine is missing. And I, <laughs> you might be sat at home thinking, John, you must have had an idea that that engine wasn't in there. No, genuinely, I haven't opened this. This is the first time of me looking in there. As you can see by all the spider webs and things blowing away. Why on earth is the... <laughs> Where is it all? <laughs> At least there's a nice bat. Oh no, even the battery carrier's missing. The radiator's corroded. There's not much here I can use. Washer bottle. Oh no, it's just starting to rain. Don't rain. You'll wash off my precious barn dust. Just before it starts to rain and washes all my dust away, let's take a look. Uh, round the car quickly. There it is. Uh, you can see the roof well is filthy. The bonnet doesn't look so bad because it had a tarpaulin over it but uh, the back here was covered in hay bales and straw and all sorts of stuff. Mmm, tasty. I know you want to see it jet washed. I think I'm going to have to do that aren't I? I am going to have to jet wash it but uh, 
Well, the rain is doing a natural job at the moment. I want to get in the bonnet. And then we'll take a look inside. Now, despite the rain, I am determined to get inside here. I am going to get myself filthy, aren't I, doing it? But uh, I am determined to get inside this engine bay and straddle a proton. <laughs> There's your thumbnail. <laughs> now I'm filthy. I won't be allowed in Mrs. John Coupland's car now, but... <laughs> when people say, John, why do you like protons? Because I can comfortably fit in one. <laughs> now I've got to get back out. How am I getting out? Oh, no, I'm caught. Stop washing my precious barn rust away. Ooh. Ooh. It's the only Malaysian girl I've straddled all week. So uh, the rain isn't going to stop, sadly, which means that it is going to naturally give it a bit of a clean. But don't worry, because uh, we, we will be jet washing it off and having a look at it. Let's take a look around the rest of the car. then. so no engine pretty much scuppers us from the off. Um, I'm assuming that gearbox is the gearbox from the car, but clearly somebody wanted the engine from this. So mechanically, there's not much I can really do with this car. I don't have a donut engine. Um, let's take a look at the panels then. So the front wing here is blebbed and blistered and actually quite rotten at the bottom there. So that front wing, nothing really can be done with that. The um, front bonnet, the bon or the bonnet, looks good. It doesn't look rusty or bent or rotten, so that might be salvageable, as is the front grille. It appears that somebody at some point has drilled into this front grille, actually, so maybe it's just the badge that's going to be salvageable. This front bumper will go again and live again. One thing I do love about this is it is a local car. It is a Boston car, so it has uh, lived locally all its life. The front lights are good, they're in good order, and they will be saved and repurposed. Um, driver's door looks fine, again, it's difficult to tell without cleaning it, as is the mirror. The, the bodywork is in scuffs and scratches and bits and pieces, difficult to tell. Let's take a look at these sills. They've got sill covers on there, but it doesn't look too bad. There's a bit of rot here at the bottom of the rear door. This, obviously, is going to be the killer, these arches. Um, that has pretty much killed the car, hasn't it? And if actually you look at this here, I could probably poke my finger through there with, a, with enough force. So that uh, confirms to me that the car certainly will not be back on the road. It will not be fighting to um, drive another day. The sunroof, well, I can't really tell without giving it a good jet wash. I think it probably is going to be okay. The aerial is all bent, that's no good. I can't do anything with that. The boot lid looks nice and solid, but again, I'm going to have to give that a good clean off to see if there's any wibbles or dents in there. But the spoiler looks in very good condition as well. The rear of the car seems to have fared better than, well, the front, obviously, because it's not got that engine. But um, things I can use from the back here, the badges, obviously, hopefully they should um, clean up nicely. The locks. Uh, stuff that's in the boot, the rear bumper, and uh, this garnish being the SE, the SE and the SL had a red garnish here, which you can't see uh, very well, but that will hopefully clean up nicely and go to good use for somebody. Um, let's have a look at this side of the car then. Petrol filler cap looks good, no damage there. This looks all good. The glass all appears to be good as well. There's a piece of trim missing here, but actually, that's probably the least of our worries, isn't it? Uh, and uh, the glass here looks okay. Being the SE will have um, motorised windows, so I would have to uh, see if I can connect a battery up to the car at some point to try and drop those windows to get the glass out. Um, this door is the worst. It's uh, got a big crease in it. The honest answer is I could probably get behind that and and push it. It has been sort of just scraped when it's been dragged out of the barn, I think. Uh, this wheel arch is bad. If you've got a hole in your wheel arch, just stick some uh, some gaffer tape over it. That'll do the trick. Uh, yeah. 
that's no good is it <laughs> um these are plastic by the way these bits on here they should just peel off so we can probably repurpose those um the cells don't look too bad so the arches are where this car has really been let down at the back there and the fact again that it's got no engine but this um this wing looks perfect that's a salvageable wing in my opinion which is good news so if you need some panels for your proton that's not a passenger's door let me know let's take a look inside right this is the uh, moment of truth isn't it <laughs> the inside needs a little bit of tlc and you can see from those windows just how grubby it is in there these seats are uh, dirty that is exactly what they are dirty 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 what will i do with the interior i will take out important things like this uh cover the cowl from the tachometer actually what's the car covered in its life let's have a look i can't see Eighty-seven thousand. Cool. Oh, look at that spider's web um i will take out important bits the stereo this console and stuff that people want will i reuse the seats nah because they're very grim i wonder what's in the glove box let's have a look at there the uh cover around the um sunroof there looks quite good and they normally deteriorate let's reach in and open this back door let's have a look in the back oh it does open oh that's probably not been opened for 15 years hmm okay well you've got a free whatever this is space blanket if you need a space blanket let me know good uh let's look the other side is that open yes Ooh, comes with free horse and that is exactly what it's been living with for the past 10 years horses it's not seen the light of day for a very long time uh, I don't know what's going on in there. Oh, there's a tax disc there. Last on the road, 2014. So 10 years. Off the road, 10 years. That is a genuine proton wheel trim, by the way, but uh, sadly, it's all cracked. And then let's have a look at the back here. Oh, spiders. I'm not overly keen on them, but there we go. Last one. Ah, space blanket again. Uh, yeah. Well, at least the interior isn't wet, which is good news. So, after having a good look around the car, underneath, inside, in the non-existent engine bay, and in the boot where the gearbox is, what is the plan with the car? Well, if you ask Mrs John Coupland, it needs to go and leave now. If you ask Dad, he wants absolutely nothing to do with it. It is purely a source of spares, isn't it? Putting it back on the road is possible, don't get me wrong, but what's it gonna cost? A used engine, two or 300 quid, getting all the sundries back in, another few hundred quid. It needs some welding up and painting, another couple of hundred quid. And even then, would it be worth it? What's it worth as a car? 1,200 quid? So it makes sense to break it for spares. I've got somebody who wants the boot lid already. So the boot lid is going to a good home and it's in the right colour. The bumpers are spoken for as well. They might be going to somebody who drives a classic. Uh, things from the other car as well, which we'll be looking at in another video, um, might also be going to that same person. I've got the driver's door that is wanted by somebody who bought Bill. If you remember Bill, he was a, a, a proton on the channel. And the interior, well, I'm just going to strip out and use the parts. I'm not going to take everything off this car because there's a lot of things here that I don't need. The future of it, well, it will go to uh, the scrapyard. It will be weighed in. Maybe the Banger Boys will stick an engine in it and race it around the track. And if that's the case, brilliant. But... Um, it won't be going to waste anyway. It's certainly not something that I'm going to be spending a thousand pound on putting it back together. I am going to clean it and that will be a separate video because I know as much as me 
you want to see it jet wash too. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Am I mad? Is this an addiction? Or am I doing uh, something good for the Proton community? I like to think that I am. We'll soon find out if the sunroof leaks. Have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. There are so many more Proton related videos on the channel and I've actually selected a couple that I think you might like here uh, on this page. Give them a click to watch them now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Proton fun and lots more videos coming soon.